Hello, hello everyone, this is Polywell, and welcome back to Ultimate Admirals Dreadnoughts. And more testing of things, because... Well, I, I forgot to, uh, you know, record more episodes of the American Campaign, and now it's time to upload it. Oops. But anyways, we get some interesting moments here, because we have two heavy cruisers. I think these are the ones with the, uh... It's not large cruiser, I forget what it's called. It's a different hull than the usual heavy cruiser that I use. And they, ooh, they both have veterans. Nice. Versus what's probably going to be an either an early 1900 battleship or something like mid-1890s from the looks of it. Definitely has a lot of flaws. I do not. I don't, I don't have a lot of flaws. Who owns these anyways? Belgium? Is it Belgium again? Yes. And they have a... Ooh, this is... Japanese light cruiser, so that might be okay. And a Spanish. Okay. I mean, it is Spain we're fighting against, but an actual Spanish ship. Is this all in the... Okay. Interesting. Didn't realize I was in the Bay of Biscay. I should know that since it's literally right there. But apparently I'm not very good at paying attention. Let's fight this real quick. Alright, let's do this. I think I have a chance at this. Yeah, it's whatever the heck you want to call these. It's like little uh, mini proto-dreadnoughts, or whatever the heck they're called for the Italians. But it's a heavy cruiser. I actually kind of like it. It's a pretty neat design. Also, I have ten? Ten, fun ten funnel uh, tubes? I suppose they're stacks. Ten stacks? You know, nothing wrong with that. Good amount of smokage. Definitely leaves a... Leaves a... What is the word I'm looking for? Black sooty cloud. Leaves an impact. That looks good. Might make that the thumbnail later. By the way, you know, make sure to pause this if you ever want to take any pictures of this for your own... Own little screenshot wall collection. Alright. Northeast... Looks like we're heading roughly in that direction. I think these are Mark 3s. Yeah, Mark 3s, and then the 5s are Mark 3s. Everyone should be Mark 3s. Because I don't think I updated this one. This one's a little behind. This one's a little old. A little behind. I do like it, though. Probably just because I like anything that reminds me of pre-dreadnoughts. Those are, those are nice. Let you know when we... Oh! Never mind, I was about to say I'll let you know when we find them, and then I found them. Okay. That is definitely... Alright, we're gonna we're gonna be a little smarter here. I have the room to be smart, so we're gonna be smart. You're gonna go this way. You're gonna go this way. And then we're gonna go times ten until it finds us again. Alright. I need you to drop down to 11.8. Do, 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 do. 11.8. Do, 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 do. Uh, 11.7 is good enough. This way I can turn on a dime when we get those torpedoes. Let's do it this way. Start the turn already. I want this destroyer dead before it hurts my precious baby boys. Come on, you got a good shot at it. Make it dead, make it dead. I would like it's dead, please. Alright, turn. Alright. Oh, you actually are a light cruiser. You launched. You launched. Which direction did you launch from? I must know. Okay, you launched against this ship. So that means we need to turn in more. Okay. I want you to turn this way. We're just going to get ready for what's coming. I don't know where your torpedoes are, but we're going to just dodge the heck out of the way. Like that. Okay. 
Everyone has done their fancy maneuvers. Let's go beat them up. If that's the light cruiser, where's their destroyer? Oh, this poor thing is a pre-dreadnought. Those are like Mark 1 guns. Maybe Mark 2, but I'm pretty sure that's Mark 1 with the dome. I pity the fools. They are outclassed. I don't even think they see me right now. Where is... My next question is, is where is the destroyer? Because that was the light cruiser. The Japanese light cruiser. Did the destroyer just run away? Did Spain just literally leave their friends <laughs> behind? And outdated ships? I, I will pity the fools. That said, it's still kind of nice to see pre-dreadnoughts, you know, in the 1930s. Granted, this one is not up to date like mine, but you know, I can appreciate its existence. I mean, it should it should be in a museum, or I suppose it's big enough to be a museum at this point. Oh, oh, there's, uh, there's the destroyer. Okay. Oh, geez, it's already flooding. It's already flooding. It's already flooding. Oh, she's going to start firing back. Alright, we turn this way. You have Mark 1s or Mark 2s? I forget. Mark 1s. Oh, you're really in trouble, then. Granted, granted, with you having 10 inch guns, if you hit, it'll hurt. <laughs> Maybe not much, but it'll hurt. More overpens. There's some more flooding. My fives should be good enough to pen you. Oh yeah. My fives should be penning you just fine. Now we just gotta keep an eye out for that destroyer. I know it's somewhere over here. But I don't know if it ran away or if it's just hiding. Playing boldly here. Alright, Wetton. It's just time it's just time to go to sleep, buddy. Time to take a nice long nap. Poor thing. Once a proud mighty vessel now just hopelessly outmatched. Eh, not a whole lot of points there, but they literally lost more men than I got points. <laughs> that doesn't happen often. Alrighty. I'm gonna do a couple more turns and see if we can get one more fight here, just so I have something for you guys. I feel kinda bad that it's this and not the American campaign. But, so many of you guys rather watch this than the American campaign, so I don't feel as bad. <laughs> I mean, just look at the numbers. Granted, the numbers aren't that important, but it's it's good to heed them for a good idea of what's going on. All right, well, there's this. <laughs> this'll be, uh, this'll be interesting. <laughs> uh, 18 months. I can't tell what that one is. 20 months, okay. This will be interesting. Oh yeah, we, we got this. We don't got this. Though that looks like a pre-Dreadnought style heavy cruiser right there, so if we have eight of those, we're doing good. That looks like an older style light cruiser as well. We'll find out. Alright, gentlemen. Today we are going to the southeast, which means I'd rather go... South. I think south is the answer to my question. Not the questions, my uh, problems. Let's go ahead and also drop her to 13.1. There we go. Perfect. Drop you to 13.1. Come on. No, 
no, no, no, no. Come on, you got this. I know. There. All right. Void off. You're going to follow. No. Hang on a second. You're going this way. You. You're the one following <laughs> this one. There we go. Okay. I'll let you know if we find him. Oh, while well, I'm thinking about it, this is closer to what I usually do, <laughs> do for Heavy Cruiser. Or shall I call the Heavy Gunboat? And then I think this is... This is one of the uh, older style ones. Oh, this one actually got updated. This is Mark 3s, and those should be Mark 4s. Yeah. Okay, so this is the updated version of the other ones. Alright. Now I feel a lot better about my chances. Whoops, somebody spotted us, but I don't see them. Probably a destroyer. I don't know where they went. Oh, they spotted us again. All I know is I am ready for them. As ready as I can be. Still heading south, still heading directly south. Time to go east. They are now northeast of us, so I want to tee... So they somehow got back here, if the thing is to be believed. And I want to... make a T. Alright, no patience. Time to go in. Speed up, we're going to chase them down. Not yet, they picked this fight, they're going to have this fight. Everyone speed up. Come fight me, you cowards! Do you want to initiate fights you're not going to have? Still to the northeast, huh? That's it. Admiral, take me where I gotta go. Oh, oh, oh. There's the shells coming in. There you are. Come and fight me, you coward. Nope. We're going straight in. We know where they're coming from now. We can see their shots. Yes, eights. Give them all the DACA. How are we looking? Uh huh. Okay. So, we have some nines, and we have some sevens. I'm going to guess four wing turrets and three center lines, and the rest are sevens. Okay. Kind of a more dreadnoughty version of what I'm doing. Granted, I'm doing a more pre dreadnought version of what he's doing. The joke's on you, I have eights. Eights are really good. Plus, I have the 14.9. I'm going to turn to the side and let them have everything. <laughs> what a weird chase. This is the 30s, not the 80s. We don't need any crazy chase scenes. But if that's what you want, I will happily oblige. Quit running away! 
You cowards. I will eat your fleet for breakfast. actually coming my way or are you just positioning? Either way you're about to get a bunch of eights in your face. Probably not the most fun position for you, huh? Yeah, wasn't the most fun position. That was an extensive fire. <laughs> Jeez Louise. This is not going to bode well for them. Let's turn to the side a bit more. I don't want to catch up too quickly. Let's slowly tear their fleet apart. How are you guys liking this content versus my usual American campaigns and other stuff. I see more people are watching this. And that does tell me that they're more interested in this stuff if I just go off of numbers, but I'd rather hear it in comments. Just so I know for sure. Because we can we can change up the campaigns to be more like this, where it's more battle focused. And I can cut out some of the usual campaign y stuff. It's up to you guys. This is easier for me to do, but I have no problem with doing it the way I've been doing it either. It just takes more time. <laughs> Jeez. Ship sinking. You gonna actually hit you gonna actually hit with your main guns? I'm on fire. Mr. Stark, my back is not feeling too good. Hailing. Oh, we're hailing lead on that's for sure. <laughs> Ooh, flash fire. Ah, oh, never mind. Caught it too late. Caught it too late. Oh well. Maybe next time. Not a whole lot of strategy involved with this one. It's mostly just chase them down for trying to sort of fight with us and then running away like cowards. Tell you what though, I don't think Austria-Hungary has much more in the way of a fleet other than these ships. So if we deal with this, we'll be pretty much clear of troubles from them. So we have a really tiny stuff going over there. Go after this one. Make this guy upset. And by upset, I mean dead. Make him very much dead. I want the 14, I want the 14.9s to do their job and make them hurt a lot. How is my losses doing? 2.8%? That is an acceptable amount of human losses. If there is ever such a thing. I don't think there really is, but in this particular case. Yes, good, good, Helene. Hail, hail, Helene. Keep it on. Kill it. Make it the deads. Make it the deads. Not a lot of damage going on with the uh, 14.9. They're doing, they're doing, they are doing damage. Just not as much as I'd like. I would like it to pretty much end that thing. This thing is. 
pretty much in desperate need of death. Needs to be plugged up. I think we've pruned most of their heavy cruisers, now we just need to take care of everything else. Probably finish the job by the time we get to it. Alright, that's another one down. Hopefully they had lifeboats. I hope, I hope they had lifeboats there, because I'm not stopping to pick them up. I am a little bit more bruised and battered than I'd like to be, but that's okay. I can live with that. I can live with that. How are you guys doing? Getting your shots in? Yep. <laughs> Ooh, they're in trouble now. Ooh, they're in trouble now. I feel like I'm straight up bullying at this point. Even though I'm not technically technologically advanced, apparently I am par for the course according to the game. Apparently I'm par for the course. It makes me wonder what America's got. Because America is supposedly advanced. So was Japan before I ate them. Now to chase down their ships. Really, those are battle cruisers? I could have those were battleships originally, but I'm not going to complain. They still cost money. Uh, how much money? Two, 227 million? Versus. My 347 million. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good now. Chase them down! They are faster than me. They do have that. But the question is, is will they outrun my guns before they have to slow down? Because I am not playing the... Uh, Playing that, ooh, we're just gonna ghost from the uh, outside of the field of vision game. That's that's my game, not their game. Come on, guys, quit leading your shots. Get a good hit. Okay, those are good hits. I'll take them. That makes me happy. Get some more in. Come on. Get some more in. You got this. You got this. I believe in you. I believe in you. That's a good hit. That's a good hit. And they have many bulkheads, but not maximum. Holy buckets, you, you are not doing well. You are not doing well at all. That really slowed you down. That really slowed you down. Jeez Louise. Volta is about to uh, get well, acquainted with the seabed. Not quite there yet, but it's getting close. Definitely having a bad day. And as I get closer, its bad day is only going to get worse. Because I have a lot more DACA than they do. A lot more deck than they do. I feel like these guys had some destroyers, but I don't remember. I wonder where those are at. I want all firepower on that ship. That thing needs to die. Dodge. We're not 
not getting involved with those. We're not getting involved with those. We're not getting involved with those. Nope, 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 nope. You can. Okay, we're getting involved with those. We're getting involved with those. Come on. Dodge it. Okay, there's no dodging. I'll take it. One bad torpedo hit ain't gonna be the end of the world. It's not gonna be enough to hurt my uh, speed too much. What's my current speed limit? Okay, that's not terrible. I think we might be able to leave them alone now. wasn't going to, I was going to chase you to the ends of the earth, but now that I've been torpedoed, I've changed my mind. I really should have paid attention and made sure you guys didn't have torpedoes before I got that close. That's on me. Ooh, you're floating now. Are you going to flood as bad as your uh, sister ship? Oh, part of your problem is, is you're on low fuel. Yeah, you're only going 18 knots right now. Yeah. No wonder I'm catching up to you. Alright. So mean. Such a mean little ship. Alright, who is more damaged? Uh, probably you. Because <laughs> now you have even more flooding. What was it that Oh, okay, the 11.9s? Yeah, those are pretty strong against battle cruisers. Especially now that they have a lot less armor. Like, their limits are a lot shorter than they used to be. Which, I have complex slots about. I don't care enough to make a big deal out of it. But I do care enough that I will make a note of it and mention it. Having such low armor on battle cruisers can be problematic. <laughs> Not that they're ever meant to, like, really fight anything. But I feel like right now my heavy cruisers here could probably still take on these battle cruisers and have a good chance of winning by themselves. That's how bad the armor is on those battle cruisers right now. But that's personal thoughts. And, and if the game released this way without any bugs, I would totally accept it. You know, as far as their choices on armor. Stop blowing holes in my ship. I'm supposed to blow holes in your ship. Oh, interesting. You know, for okay, that was a Oh, it's armor piercing we're out of. I was about to say, for being out of out of ammo, we sure have some ammo. But that's fine. It's not like they really have the armor to be fighting. Uh... Yeah, that's what I thought. Pretty sure even with HE, I can probably... Yeah. I could probably hurt it real bad still. How you doing, Hailing? Oh, you still got ammo. Plenty of eights. Ammo for the eights. How how are you doing flooding wise? You're at 100 percent Okay, so you got rid of all your flooding. Extra nice. Ooh, flooding. What was it? Probably okay. Mm. 
I wonder if in the American campaign I should make some uh, more... Uh, I don't know if I want to call it sensible, but more more regular poly style. Poly style battleship. Oh, there's the destroyers. Hey, buddies. You guys over there? Doing your thing? Okay. I, wouldn't, I thought you guys existed. Or are you just more heavy cruisers? Oh, more heavy cruisers. <laughs> you know what's going on and you're just staying out of it. You're smart. <laughs> I, I, I can't... I can't make fun of you for that. Okay. Someone is shooting me from over that... Light cruisers. Okay. I have been completely encircled. That is what that is what this is telling me. Kind of curious on what I'm gonna do about it, but as of right this moment, I've been encircled. Uh huh. All right, guys, put your ammo on safe. Oh, you still pretty feel pretty confident about your ability to hit. Okay, put this on save as well. I'm gonna just fast forward until they start shooting again. Oh, they're firing back again. Everyone's shooting things again. Trying to decide what you want to shoot. Here, I'll make it easy on you. Shoot that. And then, secondary fire. On that. No, 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 no. You keep going this way. You think you have a shot of hitting it. I don't think 2.1% chance of hitting is a shot of hitting it. But, okay. We are closing in, though. Still running? You're still running. Let's go over here. Yeah, go over this way. How do you feel? You had this big old fleet, and three Chinese ships came and took your lunch money. Still taking your lunch money. Probably doesn't feel too good, especially after you just sailed all the way from Europe the long way because I'm pretty sure you didn't go through the uh, straight not the straight but the uh, over by Egypt I think you went literally all the way around Africa <laughs> or at least what the trail of ships I saw earlier it led me to believe and look what it has to show for it a broken fleet That said, I will be impressed if you can take out one of my heavy cruisers in time. Because I don't think you can. I hope we've gotten close enough that the, uh... Gotten close enough that the heavy cruisers are catching up. I said that wrong. Close enough that the cruisers are catching up. Yeah, that makes sense. I think close enough for the secondaries on the heavy cruiser to open up. There we go. Ooh. 
Solid hit on the main tower. Give your props for that one. I know, time is running out. I have 19 minutes to kill this thing, and I am going to spend every single moment doing it. I can't remember the last time I've actually used up the timer. It's been a long time. But I will kill you. I want you to know that. You will be you will die. What is the range on your torpedoes? Six kilometers. So we're in range of your torpedoes already. I am going to turn a little bit off. Not exactly a good idea to show the broadside, but I'd rather show you the guns than than get close to your torpedoes. There we go, there's some flooding. And that's the, uh, not the killing blow, but basically the, uh, the pin in this. <laughs> now that you're flooding, you have definitely slowed down enough that you are a sitting duck for my guns. And now I have a full broadside. I am going to watch and make sure you're not going to launch any torpedoes, because that would annoy the heck out of me. I don't want to get hit by torpedoes. Torpedoes aren't nice. They're not nice at all. Alright. Oh, I'd like someone to please blow this ship out of the water. Oh, that's fire. You killed one of my secondaries. You will pay for that. There you go. Then. You are just refusing to die. Which I respect a lot. Because tenacity is good. But dang. I'm going to run out of time before you die, aren't I? Unless my eats have something to say about it. Which they might. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Come on, more eights. Here they come. Ba -da 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 -da. Yes. I'll take it. I'll take it. Definitely good enough. Good enough for me. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had a good time with this episode. We'll try and get more American Campaign and Pokemon episodes up soon. Plus, maybe some other stuff if I get a wild hair. Have a good afternoon, evening. Italy, I can't speak today, can I? Have a good afternoon, evening, day, twilight, whatever it is, as long as it's a good one, and I will see you next time, where I'll have this soft voice disappear and come back to my microphone. <laughs> Alright, see ya.